Okay. <laughs> well, welcome to a new installment of uh, the video game stoner. It's actually early October now, 2011. Uh, it's the afternoon. It's really windy and shit outside. I don't know. I don't think it's raining per se, but definitely windy. God damn. Um, and I realize it's been like four months. We had a four month like hiatus there where I wasn't uploading any VGS videos. Uh, one person, I think, cared. Probably a big reason why I didn't really worry about it too much. I was like, oh cool, I put up like 50 videos or something. I don't even know. So, yeah, we're kind of um, stuck at a weird moment right now, actually, because my terabyte died, and I'd have to go get a new copy of Mega Man 3, and that probably means that I would just get a password to have you know, full sub-tanks, sorry, E-tanks, and extra lives, or whatever, if there's passwords for that, which I think there are, to start up Mega Man 3 again, and we're also in a funny position with Mega Man X 2, the reason I haven't really continued that, um, like I was telling you guys about the Dragon Punch, it's kind of bothering me. I can't really decide, you know? Um, Cause, uh, you know, I could just switch to the keyboard to get that heart t tank and get the dragon punch. I wouldn't even need to switch to the keyboard to get the dragon punch, just to get the heart tank, but if I'm not using the keyboard, if I'm using this USB controller, I can't perform the Dragon Punch. It's impossible because the, there's no diagonal button on this, and the Super Nintendo controller wants uh, the suit. The emulator wants a button for the diagonals. So that's pretty much why. <laughs> Um, shit's, shit's been kind of going on, haven't felt like it, I don't know, whatever. But I've been playing Lufia 2, actually I haven't been playing it very much. I got really far in this game, like, two or three years ago, maybe even more, I'm not sure. Still had the save file. And so I just picked it up again. Recently I played through Legend of Zelda Link to the Past on my actual Super Nintendo console. That was pretty tight. Um, because I can't play it on the emulator either because of the same controller issue. Um, I can't tell you how delicate and nuanced the control for Link is in that game. It's actually kind of stunning. We're definitely getting some frame rate problems here. I'm not sure exactly what's slowing it down, but yeah, we're getting some slowdown here. That sucks. Because I'm hardly running anything, and I just restarted the computer. Oh, typical, typical. Video game stoner video. Firefox is eating up a good deal. MS MP ENG, whatever that is, is eating up a good deal. I'm just gonna try that. So I thought I'd make a filler video. Um, you probably noticed I've been uploading the videos about once a week since I started uploading them again. Because that's my plan. I actually only just uploaded I think Mega Man 3 part 27 
uh, yesterday. Was that yesterday? Well, anyway. That was my plan. And... I'm gonna stick to it. I'm thinking about... Trying my hand at uh, Yoshi's Island. Because the stonerette has been playing that one. And... Uh, I've never, I've really never played it, actually. It's probably one of the most glaring omissions in my Super Nintendo, uh, experience. I'd say. Um. Other than that, I really don't know what I want to do here. <laughs> my terabytes crapped out. I don't even know if I can run the PlayStation emulator or, or what. Most of my games, I think, were on the terabyte. I can play Armored Core. I'm supposed to play that. Um, I guess I'm a little worried I'm going to suck. I don't know. So let me know. Here's a good question. Let me know if you think I should just jump into Armored Core and record the whole thing. Or should we pick up the uh, production quality, you know, here? Which, seriously, why is this running so slowly? This is ridiculous. I can never cut a break here, you know? Wow, CPU is just tanked. Why is there so much shit running in the background? I don't know, what do you guys think? That's a lot of garbage. And I just restarted the computer. I don't know. Firefox is still running in the background, even though... I totally told it to shut down. So we're just going to cancel that process and see if that helps any. Fucking Firefox. Not really. Yeah. Uh, file. Where's the damn frame skip? That might have helped, actually, of all things. I don't know. It's going to be hard to tell. So this is Lufia 2. And this is a really pretty good RPG for the Super Nintendo. It's not as well known, obviously, as Final Fantasy. I don't think it's even as well known as Breath of Fire. Partially, I think, because, as far as I know, it pretty much just had the two games on Super Nintendo. Um, the second one, of course, is better. And the storylines do connect on the two games. If I'm not mistaken, Lufia 2 is actually the prequel. Um, a little more polished. There's a lot of things I like about this game, actually. The battles are pretty fast. That's really nice. The graphics are great. I really like the animations and stuff. <clears throat> um, it doesn't have, like, many games in the Super Nintendo era. It doesn't have any kind of diary or anything like that helping you to keep track of where you are, where you're going, what you're supposed to do next. But... The progression from area to area is pretty obvious and linear. So we don't have that problem that I had when I was playing Secret of Mana. Oh my god. I got pretty far into Secret of Mana and it just... I had no clue where I was going next. I had forgotten. And I could go anywhere. So it was like, uh, do what now? <clears throat> and uh, that was something that would come up back in the day. Part of the reason I want to play through Lufia also is because... It uh, factors in significantly into Captain Sness, the Game Master, which is a webcomic um, you might, might have heard of. It's not uh, all that widely known as far as I know. But it is, in fact, a continuation of Captain and the Game Master. So we're going to jump into this and, and see what happens. So you can see I have... A game file already 
pretty far in, 30 plus hours. My main character's level 50. So, I've been doing this for a little while. And I'm in the middle of a dungeon, <coughs> actually. We're on Flower, Flower Mountain. And, uh... Oh, it's boss time, I think, here. Yeah, this is boss music, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Okay, so, uh, one of the things that I like about Lufia is they have this IP system where a bunch of your equipment has a special technique that it can do that you can only access with IP points, which you acquire. It's like, uh... What was it in Final Fantasy VII? You'd get hit, and you'd get hit, and you'd get hit, and then you could unleash a special attack. Well, it's the same here. You take damage, and you can do these techniques. You'll see. Uh, whoa. Yeah, okay. That's probably a good idea. Um, I don't have any way of observing what's up with this dude. There's no peak or anything like that. That might be a good idea. So it's good to save for the bosses, and then... I think we're gonna use this on Guy, because he doesn't have any magic. Wow, that was a huge bonus. Over to the right, you can see my capsule monster. That's the Phoenix type. He, uh, he kicks ass. I kind of... sort of cheated, technically, you could say. I looked some stuff up, and that's how I got him. Because I found an easy way of uh, evolving him. Okay, that might be a good idea. Whoa, what just happened? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh... Okay, I'm glad they didn't have any fucking status effects. Okay, so pretty much uh, I'm gonna hit him, I think, at this point, for this part. Oh, that's a, probably a good idea. I don't know, maybe? No, maybe not. I'm just gonna attack. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. She heals for a shit ton. And there's plenty of magic points to go around, and the absorb magic. See how much that fucking firebird kicks ass? Wow! That fire sword, see, I picked up a fire sword for the main character in this level. And it's kicking ass. Uh, can I wake him up? Yeah. I think. Can I wake him up? Yes! Sweet. Ooh! See, he took out my Firebird, which is not the end of the world, because... He'll just come back in my next battle with full health. It just means that he's not attacking for me anymore. Which... He got a good hit in there. So I can't be too upset.
Not bad. Oh. Yeah! I'd say we kicked his ass. That fire sword was definitely helpful. When you're coming through this dungeon, make sure you find that fire sword. Holy crap. Yeah, the burn sword. You gotta find that, because it just kicks ass against that boss. Alright, we got a pretty flower! Isn't that nice? Probably a good idea to save. Pretty much you want, you want to save whatever you can. Or why am I... I can just spell out of here. Uh, and I could warp home, but let's walk so you can see the overall map here. You see, so I just came off of this mountain. Flower Mountain. And here I am, this is the vicinity of Tria Duel, which uh, is pretty far in the game, like you saw, I'm 30 hours in. And you have random enemy encounters, just like Final Fantasy. Um, I've been cheating a little bit though, so I have all the really good equipment. I just, I don't know what to tell you, it's like, I don't have the time to really explore these games like I used to when I was a kid. And, and discover most of the stuff. I, uh, if I want to get everything, I either have to do it the first time, or it seems like put a lot of time into these things, you know? So you can see, yeah, my phoenix came back. Here's another, this is actually a dude. A dude lives here. He's a mad scientist. Um, so Lufia too, it's got really good pacing, see how nicely it moves along, and the sprites walk around with a good amount of speed. I feel like, I almost feel like if it were, they were very much faster at all, it would be too fast. So that's pretty good, right? That's ideal. Uh, I think I need to go here, this girl's house. Yeah, here we go. Oh, well, you know, I'm a nice guy. Hey, buy you flowers. I want to know how this girl was wandering around on this mountain full of monsters that... I mean, they, they didn't really pose a danger to me. But they did some damage to me. And I'm level 50, you know. That's not nothing. And I'm so high level because, you know, the fights are pretty enjoyable. I have a couple of minor gripes. The first thing is that, seriously, if you enter into a random battle, the enemy that your cursor automatically selects should always be in the front row. There's just, it's senseless to have it go to the back row, anyone, ever, automatically. Why would I... Don't do that. That's bad. My second gripe is you can't save on the world map, which is a common feature in Final Fantasy games. Uh, you can only save at churches and on the tiles in the dungeons. Which can kind of simplify things a little, but it also kind of, you know, sometimes I'll have to save somewhere and then I'll walk around going, okay, where am I supposed to go next? Whereas in the Final Fantasy game, t typically what I would do is, uh, I would get right up to the next place I'm supposed to go, whether it's the next town I'm supposed to go to or the next dungeon I'm supposed to go to, and I would stop just outside, save right there, and put it up for the night. That way it's like, that's where I'm going next. It's almost like a nice little bookmark, you know? Well. <clears throat> oh yeah, and before I forget to mention, um, what we're smoking right now is, I guess, a mixture of blueberry and OG something. This is how it is on the East Coast. I can't remember if I've talked about this yet or not, but it's a thing that comes up 
where people don't really know what shit is. And I was, I'm kind of hoping to see that change a bit as more dispensaries open up and the scene changes over here. Hopefully, some of the politics going on right now are going to change. <laughs> I'm pretty. I don't know. This Occupy Wall Street thing that's going on is pretty interesting. But, you know, at my age, you don't want to get your hopes up too much. Plus, I actually. I don't think I've mentioned this yet. I have a head cold right now. Like, full on. Uh, we quit smoking cigarettes a little over two weeks ago. Uh, the stonerette theorizes that um, it might be that our smoking cigarettes was somehow covering up fall allergies that we had. <laughs> Which is a pretty stonerific theory, if I do say so myself. I don't know. Missed 420 by 14 minutes. Oops. So yeah, I either have a head cold or uh, something. But I'm all congested up in my face. And uh, I feel warm, sore. My sinuses are all irritated. So that sounds like some kind of a condition to me. I don't know about you guys. Mm. So Lufia too. You know, has some some um, interesting character stuff. You know, I see what they're trying to do here. There's, you have this tough warrior character here with Ceylon, and uh, they kind of touch around on the concept of, you know, I guess a more womanly side. You know, in the stereotypical sense, we should keep things culturally in context. This was produced in the early to mid 90s in Japan. So just think about what the cultural scenario was there for um, you know, popular conceptions of the female role, you know. Fucking Japan. Which, you know, that's complex. It's not as simple as, um, oh, they, you know, oh, oppression of females, that's bad. It wasn't quite that simple. But we're definitely not going to get into a full on motherfucking gender politics debate here on Video Game Stoner. So don't try to get into it. Seriously. We don't we don't need that shit. I hear that enough everywhere else. I get to video games to get away from garbage flame wars. Fucking hell. Wow, that's great. Uh I have no idea what I should do now. Huh. That's the guy's making a ship for me. Um, you can turn the speed of the text up, but I actually found that at the high, at that speed, I was really not catching the dialogue. <laughs> it was very fast. 
and I was just kind of blasting through it and not really taking it in. Um, and I felt like I was just power gaming and I wasn't really getting into the story at all or anything and enjoying it. See, I tried to bring him some of the fucking tea and he just didn't want to take it. Oh, see, how did I know you were over here for me to talk to? See, that's not great. Jesus Christ. That's not good at all. I could have just walked off and gone off anywhere and wandered all over the place trying to figure out what I was supposed to do next. I just got damn lucky right there. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I walked out of the city, a scripted event would have guided me back here. The games do that sometimes. Uh, so we're going to have to label that a question mark. We don't really know what was going to happen there. So yeah, I don't know if you realize this or not, but I've been playing JRPGs since I was like 11, maybe 12, maybe even like 10. Because my dad's best friend Earl had Final Fantasy 2, the US card on Super Nintendo, you know, Final Fantasy 4 in Japan. And he lent it to me. It was a long extended loan, I think I had it for over a year. And I fucking beat that game. Totally beat it. That was the first one and I was hooked. Of course, nowadays I'm really picky. I see a lot of RPGs out there that I don't think very much of. I'm a stuck up art snob, you know. And I, uh, I look at all media as a, a form of art and I expect everything to be fucking artistic, goddammit. And I've found that, I've recently figured this out as the fundamental difference between me and other people. Other people don't seem to be looking at it in that way, which is fine, you know. I'm on my trip, you're on your trip, we can coexist. I hadn't gotten, uh... I've been on a sobriety patch for a while, so I'm pretty heavily inebriated right now. I wish I didn't have to shoot this on such a tiny screen, because it'd be easier to focus. Exertion? Is that how it's pronounced? Somehow I feel like it was cooler in Japanese. But I tend to have that opinion. Well, it has to do with the whole process, you know. Um, the people that translate these things and oversee localization they uh, they are not the same person who oversaw this in Japan and it's it's like everything gets passed through a filter you know it's hard to explain well it's been about a half hour so I'm going to stop this video Oh yeah, if you didn't notice, I can post longer videos now. Isn't that great? Okay, check in next time.